Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been quite some time since I've recorded, but here I am recording for you guys during quarantine. I have all the time in the world, so I will create content for you guys. So today I filmed a chit chat get ready with me video. I went over a bit of details about my new studio La Boutique while getting ready and talking through my makeup process. So if this is something you are interested in seeing and hearing, please keep on watching. So we're going to start off with obsessing over our hair. I have nothing on my skin right now. I have leftover mascara on, which I haven't taken off. So. Let's start with taking off the mascara. So my boyfriend and I were looking at spaces for probably the last, hmm, I would say two years. I didn't really know what I was looking for, but I knew what I wasn't looking for. Some people know this, but some people don't know this, but I went to school for medical aesthetics. I'm trained in a lot of services like microdermabrasion and stuff like that. Um, I just never worked a day in it. I got into makeup and the rest is history. I was thinking at one point to maybe open a medical aesthetics um, space. So that was one idea a while ago. And then my boyfriend and I were going to open a space together because he's a barber and I figured it kind of went hand in hand. We looked at a couple of spaces in the Byward Market in Ottawa. I just didn't really fall in love with anything until I saw this space. Um, the whole vibe of it, as you guys saw in the video, with the brick and the in industrial components of it is so, is so me, it's so my vibe. My girlfriend and I went to New York City back in December and we went to Soho and we went to a few shops and I thought, oh my gosh, it's so much like my space. And I just wanted to bring a different vibe to Ottawa that I hadn't seen. I just saw so much potential with this studio and in this space that I thought, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this space yet. This was back last fall of 2019, but I knew that I, I wanted it and I knew I was going to figure it out. Mind you, I didn't just jump in with both feet without having a, a somewhat of a plan. Like I had written up a business plan a while ago. At one point, I was thinking of doing a salon. It was too much of a gamble for me because I'm not a hairstylist, so I'd have to like really sit down and talk with a, a stylist to see how that all would work. This was coming up to the beginning of this year, so 2020, and then I thought, I think I'm better off to just do it myself. So I'm just putting on some moisturizer. This is the Embrolease. Embrolease. Le Hadrons. Les Hadrons. That's what it says on it. I guess it's French. Anyway, so we found the space and I fell in love. I officially signed the lease in January of 2020, so this year. We started doing a bit of work on the space and my boyfriend's father did a lot of initial renovations. We did we did a lot of little things like we changed the, the flooring in the the hallway in the video where I'm doing the intro where I'm walking down the hall so that's like the initial hallway and it was all like this ugly commercial carpet. I know I'm really picky and like having to rip that up was such a nightmare. The dressing room was, I don't even know what it was before, it was like painted in this awful red. And I think they had it maybe as their office. It was it was actually an acting school before I took it over. And so that room was awful, so awful. That red was just so bad. So we took that paint, just got rid of it. Um, the ceiling we found was a little bit, uh, there was an area that looked like it got wet. So we took off the ceiling. And in doing that, we exposed the awful work that was done. That room was being held up by sticks, more or less. There was nothing holding it up. So we had to re-enforce the entire room. So from 
the structural part, so the, the beams holding the actual floor up, because above that is another floor, and you can stand on that. So for however many years before I took it over, there have been people jumping on it, dancing, and it was super unsafe, so we had to redo that whole thing, and this was in February. It was just before the pandemic had hit. For my primer, I'm going to use the professional primer. I'm going to use this sparingly because some people say this is like moisturizer, primer, and why? I'm dry, um, so I don't typically use like a hardcore primer. It depends. It depends on what what I'm doing. So this is just to fill in pores and to mask any texture. So I took about a pea size amount and I just put that like beside my nose where I have the most pores. Yeah, nightmare, nightmare room. Oh my god, it was so awful. And I had to have like a meeting with the broker and my landlord, oh no, and the superintendent to basically say like, this is built so poorly and it needs to be redone. And that set us back like a good, I want to say three weeks. So we got that done. But that little room is is probably the smallest room besides the bathroom in this space. And it took us so much energy. And at one point we were so discouraged and so frustrated that, I mean, so many times we almost gave up. Oh my God. Probably not my boyfriend so much because he's just like, yes, we could do it, we could do it. And I'm like, yeah, I think I'm over this space to be honest. I'm just, I can't. Like, I just can't deal with like the, <laughs> The amount of breakdowns I had, just crying and crying, being like, oh my god, when is this gonna be done? And then COVID 19 presented itself. COVID 19 was here full force, and that's when I said, I'm done, I can't do it, fuck this place. After all these months of putting so much of my savings into this place oh my god guys like it was so discouraging I can't even I can't even tell you it was so crazy and like I've been through a lot of my life and I thought just another speed bump you know just another so I'm just using Mac fast response eye cream we're gonna start with our eyes I'm gonna do my eyebrows after which I never do so this will be interesting so I'm using my P Louise base I bought like all of the skin tones in this but this one's a little dark, so I just mix it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer, which is like white. So we're gonna start priming our eyes. This is just an art brush. I got the space, nightmare room, got that done. Ran into a bunch of other stuff that we had to um, fix up. But this whole pandemic and waiting on like finishing up the last minute stuff. Oh my god, guys, it's been so agonizing. There's nothing I can do. I have to just roll with it and figure it out. So I'm just putting that primer all over my lid. So yeah, like super exciting time in my life, but also so stressful. We got a lot of stuff done before the pandemic hit. Thank god. Like even the mirrors we had to get Morgan from Wallux to come over and help us put the mirror in the frame. Like we did that all ourselves and that thing weighs a ton. So we literally needed four people to lift it and put it in the frame. Yeah, I feel very blessed that I could get all that stuff done before this lockdown. Like there's no good time to announce it. Like I'm unable to work out of the space, right? So. It was this constant back and forth in my mind thinking, do I wait until the pandemic is over with? Yeah, so I'm like, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna announce it. Okay, so I'm using the Fenty um, eyeshadow palettes, the Snap Shadows. I think it's called Seven Cadet, so it's this one. So I'm just going in with Take Cover. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start filming again and I'm gonna have a different approach with it and just I have ADD, so like to, to focus on talking and to do my makeup at the same time is so hard. So I'm just bringing that color in through my crease with a MAC 224 brush, blend that out. 
It was super nerve wracking to put my little mini promo video out. I sat there for like two or three hours trying to write out the caption, which I had to revisit like 17 times because Instagram only allows a certain amount of characters in the caption. And I was trying to put those like fancy spaces between which is a whole other nightmare. So I had to, like, I would like upload it and then I was doing it through this other, my other account and I did it so many times that Instagram actually blocked me from, from editing the caption. Like I couldn't do anything. So I had to just post it and hope for the best. Oh my God. I literally almost had an anxiety attack just trying to get that up there. So I hope you guys really appreciated the video because, okay, so I'm going with a MAC 217. My trad and true, and now I'm on to another palette. So this is the Five Peach. My landlord has been so amazing, thank God, because I know some people that have commercial spaces out there are not even having any any options at all. So with the pencil brush, I took Glamo Camo just to create a bit of depth. So if if you guys didn't see the intro video, I basically say that it's not just a makeup studio. The space is actually over 2,000 square feet. Yes, I will be using the space myself, but it will also be available to rent out. What gave me the idea of like renting it out, I was always looking for space to rent out for my seminars and my classes. As far as like being able to rent out creative spaces that are really cool, I didn't really see much, so... There's just so much potential with this space. I have so many ideas. As you guys know, I do a lot of creative shoots and in doing those creative shoots, we would often have to use certain spaces. So the fact that I have access to a gorgeous space just makes it that much more exciting. So with the mezzanine, I'm thinking of doing my hands-on makeup classes. Another thing I will be doing in my space is a lot more education. Um, one thing, one challenge I was facing often was locking down places to rent. So I would, I would submit for a specific date and time only to find out that they were booked. I couldn't promote, you know, whether it was a, a seminar or a lesson or a group class and it was becoming really frustrating. So I thought I need my own space. Like I had one place that I rented out. It was literally a community center and no hate on them or anything, but it literally felt like you were in like a, a high school classroom. Like you had access to chairs and tables, but I would have to rent out extra time to come in, set up, set up the tables, set up the chairs. And I'm like usually like dressed up to do the class. So I would wear my heel heels or whatever. And I'm having to like lug all this stuff out by myself to set up only to pay more per hour just to have um, time to set up and tear it on and it was just like it's getting to be like a lot you know okay so I'm using my Kat Von D eyeliner to do my aggressive wing I stopped the camera to save my battery because I'm running low and I didn't turn off my camera so fucking idiot 50% awesome no, I gotta keep it together. So I'm going in with my bourgeois mascara. I'm going to do a light coat on my lashes. I will be applying lashes as well. This is such a good distraction for me because I found myself spending hours upon hours scrolling through Facebook and the news and I got sucked into a couple of rabbit holes. I'm the type of person to get fixated on something, whether it's true or not. And I almost become obsessed with it, so I have to be careful because I can waste a lot of time doing that. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I film today and stay off my phone and stay distracted? It's not that I'm turning a blind eye to the, the pandemic, I just, I found myself wasting so much time and so much energy and it was actually giving me so much anxiety. 
We're gonna pop on some lashes. I had to move all my stuff from my place. Um, I was looking for the different styles of lashes. I had them all packed. And so I can only find a few pairs. This style actually is part of a collection I haven't even launched. Did I bring my tweezers? Oh my gosh. And I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna forget something. Anyway, these lashes are part of a new collection that I haven't even shown one photo of. So the name of these lashes are Seductress. These are from my Taryn Lashes line. Measure them first. Whenever I'm doing like a dramatic smoke yet, I love my full lashes. So make sure when you're applying lashes that they line up with the outer edge but you want them to line up with the inner corner as well. So I'm just sizing them for now. I don't like to cut them too short on the inner corner because I don't like that weird gap. So I'm gonna go in with my duo glue. I wanna get them as close as I can to the natural lash line. Okay, so we got one lash on, looking fluffy, looking fabulous. Lately, I've been using this duo brush on glue. Not because I think it's great I and mean, it's not awful, but it's not life changing. Always make sure to check your first lash before you move on to your second lash. You just want to make sure it's sitting along the lash line properly. Because once that glue dries, I'm going to film doing my brows off camera because it literally takes me like 25 minutes, so BRB. Okay, I got my brows on. I think I'm at 60% now, because while I was doing my brows, I charged the camera. I'm going to use my face highlighter, which is the J-Cat Beauty Highlighter. They are amazing. This one is in the color YGG 102 Twilight. I'm gonna pop some of this under my brow bone too. I hope everyone is doing okay out there with this quarantine. I'm making the most of it. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to announce the space this far out um, because I knew I was going to start creating content. Now we're on to complexion. We've prepped. Gosh, I meant to do this before. Can I do this on top? Do's and don'ts. For external use only, do not apply to broken or irritated skin, stop use, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm breaking the rules. I'm gonna put some self tan on top of what I moisturize. Is that weird? Should I do that? No, we're not doing that. Um, let's go in with foundation. Too Faced Peach Perfect, Warm Nude. Let's do a little swatch through. I sometimes use sand, which is way too dark for me. Okay. Natural beige. So now we have four going. Oh, that's not so beige. Usually I'm like warm beige. Warm beige, oh yeah. She's pale, pale as can be. <sighs> Is this warm beige? Who knows? So yeah, we're literally mixing all of them. I typically wear a darker foundation because my face is a little bit more pale than the rest of my body. So applying that all over my face with my Hank and Henry Tasha brush. I just love being tan so much, like, it just looks so good, you know? It just makes you look like skinny and like young and like healthy. Anyway, I used to tan in the tanning bed every single day from when I was 18 till at least like late 20s. I quite like this foundation. Um, it's considered like medium to full coverage, but if you prep your skin well, it actually goes on really nice. I often grab for this foundation, especially for like my Instagram looks. It photographs really nice. So I'm using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is in light to medium. If you haven't used this brightener, it's amazing. So if you go out and buy it, use it very sparingly because it goes a long way. So whenever I'm using my color corrector, 
I put it on the very inner corner and then I blend it out. Because you want to put it where it's the darkest. For my concealer, I am going to use my trusty Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Probably my favorite concealer. It sets like a satin dewy finish, so it still has some luminosity to it. I'm just taking the color porcelain. So the first color I used was natural, natural beige. And porcelain, I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner because I wanna brighten that just a little bit. Anyway, so I was walking around the mall and this girl walked by me and she's like, oh my God, it's so much makeup. Like she said, <laughs> she said it under her breath and I was just like, yeah. So yeah, if you're someone that wears a lot of makeup, when you're a boy or a girl, or however you identify yourself, go on and put on that makeup and strut your stuff. I am a full supporter of someone that wears a full face of makeup anytime. So like literally if you want to wake up on a Sunday morning and beat your face just to go to church or just to go to the mall or just to get groceries, you are my people. I'm going to let that set before I powder. So bronze up the skin using color mocha. And so we're going to pop that where I typically bronze my skin. It's such a great color. Anyway, I think that I've told you the majority of my studio story. Long story short, it was it was pretty stressful the first few months. I mean, it is still stressful because I'm not legally allowed to work out of it. All I've said is that it's gonna happen in stages and we don't know when those stages are happening. I'm really liking the way this foundation looks. It's so funny because I'm literally going home after this to do nothing. I'm going home to sit on the couch. So I hope my boyfriend really appreciates this look. So I'll usually bring it on my ears then down my neck. <laughs> uh. so now that the concealer is set, we're going to set it even more with this is the Born This Way powder. I'm just doing a light layer. We're not baking. So for my contour, I'm using the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in the color one. We're going to go in with Morphe Y12 brush. So with contour, anything dark will make something look smaller. Underneath the cheekbone will make the cheekbone pop out. Highlighter time, we are going to use the J Cat. So we're going to pop that on the top. For blush, we're going to do the Stelazia Bahamas blush palette. All I'm gonna do, this one's matte, this one's shimmery. So let's do a little bit of each. Now I'm bronze. So this is a Fenty Beauty ba Bajan Gal? Bayang. <laughs> Sun Stalker Instant Warm Bronzer Bajan Gal. So it's B A J A N. Absolutely no idea how to pronounce that. We like to be bronzed. So I'm gonna bronze, bronze, bronze. She's so cute. I'm going to set it with the Slate All Day Rich Lux Dry Cosmetics Setting Spray. Creamsicle. So what do we have left? Underneath the eyes, we're gonna pop a little bit of this bronzer underneath. Fenty Beauty Eyeliner, just on the inner rim, on the waterline. The color puppy eyes, it's like this really nice bronzy shape. So for my lips, I'm going to do my favorite lip pencil from Gerard Cosmetics, it's in Ecstasy. to go in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bocce. So 
So we're just gonna lighten that just slightly. So I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in KKW. I added the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy to give it a bit of shine. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe down below. Please leave me a comment. Please share this video and I will see you all in the next video. Oh my god.